Doceri is an iPad app that allows teachers to control their classroom computer from their iPad. In addition to being able to control your computer remotely, Doceri can record video of a lesson or demonstration. This includes footage of what is on your computer, as well as any notations or markings you create on the iPad. This video will explore how to create a screencast using Doceri. Before we start, we'll need to make sure that the iPad is connected to the computer. If you haven't done so already, install the Doceri app on the iPad from the App Store. On your computer, make sure NEC Interactive has been installed from the Software Center. This program allows your iPad to talk to your computer. Open Doceri and tap Through a Computer. On your computer, open NEC Interactive. If this is your first time to open NEC Interactive, you'll need to set a password to securely connect your iPad to the computer. After doing so, you'll be provided with a QR code on the computer. Tap the camera icon in the bottom left corner of Doceri if the camera has not already opened and scan the QR code on the screen. Enter the password you created on the iPad and tap OK. You'll now see your computer screen on your iPad. Let's take a look at how to navigate Doceri. Controls are located along the top of the screen. The folder icon shows your previous projects. Next is the record button. Press this to begin recording your iPad screen. Next is the drawing mode button. If you tap this button, the app will transition from computer control mode to drawing mode. When in drawing mode, an invisible layer will be placed over the iPad screen and the computer screen on which you may draw. We'll cover the different parts of drawing mode in a minute. Next to the drawing mode button is a button similar, but one that adds a custom background to the screen before transitioning to drawing mode. Tapping this button will open a list of backgrounds to choose from. Once you select one of the backgrounds, you will be transitioned to drawing mode. The star is your quick launch menu. We will not be covering this menu in the interest of time. Should you need to type while you're using your iPad, you may click on the keyboard button to be given a keyboard on the iPad that will register on the computer. The gear button opens the app settings and the X disconnects the app from your computer. Before we get into drawing mode, let's also discuss how you can view your computer when using the app. Turn the iPad so that it is upright, portrait mode if you will. Doing so shows two views of your computer. The view on the top is what students will see, either through your projector or on the video that you make. The view on the bottom is only seen by you. The reason you have a view for yourself is so that you can zoom in on parts of the screen without the screen zooming in for your students. Let's say you need to write something very precise with Doceri, but your finger is just too big. Pinch and zoom on the section in the bottom to zoom in on your computer screen. The section above will show what part of the screen you are viewing for your reference. If you'd like to move the screen around to access a different part of the screen while zoomed in, use two fingers to drag the picture around. Turn the iPad sideways now. You'll see that you now only have one view. This is just the teacher view. You can still pinch and zoom to gain more precision in your writing without changing what students see. Nothing really changes. You're just given more real estate to work with as the teacher. Now, back to drawing mode. Tap the pencil icon to open drawing mode. Let's look at what all the different icons in drawing mode will allow you to do. You still have the same folder and recording buttons at your disposal. After the drawing mode button, you have the background button. This button functions the same in drawing mode as it did in computer control mode. The next icon allows you to add an image from the iPad's photo library or camera to the screen. Take the photo, tap use photo, place the photo where you want in the size you want by pinching and zooming and then tap the photo once you have it the size and place you want it. The next button is the share button. It allows you to share images or PDFs of the slides you create as you mark up the screen. The next section of buttons is the bread and butter of Doceri's drawing mode. These tools allow you to draw, highlight, erase, and add shapes and lines. Tap any button and you will be able to change various characteristics of each tool. After the drawing tools section is the redo and undo buttons. They do exactly what you'd expect them to do. The next icon looks like a windshield because it allows you to erase everything on the screen all at once. I'd recommend pausing the video right now and messing around with the drawing mode to become more comfortable with it. After you've become more comfortable with marking up and annotating using Doceri, let's take a look at creating screencasts and uploading them to YouTube. Before we start our recording, we need to make sure that Doceri is connected to our YouTube account so we have somewhere to send the video once we're done. Tap the settings icon and then manage shared services. Tap login to your YouTube account and add your account information. Recording is pretty simple and the great thing is that you don't have to do it all in one take. You can break up your recordings into manageable chunks so that the process is a little less daunting. 
Whether you're in computer control mode or drawing mode, you will tap the record icon. Tap start recording and you'll see the clock begin to tick away in the top left corner of the screen. Pause the recording by tapping the record button again and selecting pause recording. Once you're ready to go again, tap record and then resume recording. Pretty simple. While recording, you can switch back and forth between computer viewing mode and drawing mode without the recording pausing. Once you've recorded the entire screencast, you can press the record button and then stop recording. A log of all your recordings will automatically open. Here's how you upload the recording to YouTube. Drag the video to the YouTube icon on the right of the menu and let go. Since you're signed in to your YouTube account, the video will be uploaded directly to your channel. Add a title and some tags if you'd like and tap send. And that's about it. You know how to connect Doceri to your computer, use it to annotate what is on your computer, create a screencast and upload it to YouTube. You're practically an expert. Thanks for your time and happy creating.